Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Um, today I've got an interesting tool haul. Um, some bits for me and some bits for my buddy Alex as well. Um, so, um, I usually go to antique fairs and auto jumbles and stuff, and I print off these cards. Um, I've got, I've just literally bought three three boxes or whatever, um, because I've ran out. I've given away two full boxes of these. And on the cards, it has a picture of like some British spanners, some of the some of the ones which um, I would be interested in or something similar. Um, and I hand them out and on the back, it's got my information and it's also got, um, you know, some, you know, um, uh, contact information, blah, blah. And um, there was a ch I handed it out and a, and a chap said to me, he goes to france he says in france he's got about 50 or so spanners he can bring them over and a, a year later he rang me up and he said um basically oh I'm, I'm in my i'm in the uk are you interested in these spanners so i ended up buying who 10 15 of him um so finally those cards have come good um not had much of them for a while um but it's nice to um you know to what do you call it to get something off it so yeah so that's it so without further ado so these are some of the items i did have one of these this is a bondex and uh, mine was a 12 this is a 10 inch but my buddy john uh profed it off me but luckily i managed to buy another one so i've got one now but john's got my 12 and um, we got this really cool i love this one it's got really cool teeth um, so it's a wedge design but it wedges against the teeth and usually i've not seen the teeth design before where it wedges so i thought this was really rather clever to be honest we've got a really cool um that's the name of the wrench oh obli oblo oblo or something i do already have this size but i thought it was a cool wrench um it's got a spring in it this adjusts over to adjust the different size of the pipe wrench and it, so I thought I'll give that a whirl. Now we do have um, a type of wrench which is called a bulldog, um, and this looks to be an extremely primitive version of the bulldog. So obviously it's got the teeth, it's got the floating jaw, um, hasn't got a spring in it, um, needs a clean. Um, so that's a bit of fun. So I thought it was really primitive, so that's why I decided to give that a whirl. Um, I really like the design of that. So really cool pipe wrenches. A really interesting wedged flat jaw. That's a beauty, that one. And a Bondex to replace the one I swapped with my buddy John. Right, let's have a look at what else we got. So this is what Alex chose for his. Um, he's got two sort of farmer's um, agricultural style wrenches. This one looks like it's French, to be honest. Om de to de something or another. I'm sure I've got one in my drawer somewhere. Where's that one gone? I'm sure I've got one. Rings a bell. Um, so I've got this one. It's got the same patent date on it, but it's got a bent handle. Um, aha. So I've got this one here. Um, is it the same? This one's got a different nut to this one. Um, this one, I don't know. I think he might have thought this was a... Um, american but i think it's french but i'm not sure anyway it's you own it now alex um if you want that one i don't know what that one says that might be the american version so if you want that one instead of that one i'm not bothered um we've got that we've got two two alligators this one is unbranded far as i can make out this one says uh it's not sergeant is it surgeon something i don't know that one's a much nicer design and much sharper teeth as well really nice but don't say usa on it so out of the four he picked it might be the case that none of them are usa <laughs> sorry alex and um, but i'll put that in the pile with the rest of your junk for next shipping and um, let me know if you want this one i'm not sure um what the markings are it doesn't seem to, that one's definitely french it's got something to toot to do and that one's god knows what all right then let's show you the small items i picked up while we're at it 
So the rest of the treasure, we've got the sort of similar styled wrenches to the last one, the Bulldog, but this is a booby, I think, which is a, a very nice name. Quick adjust. This one's got the spring on it for the spring. Uh, Ruby um, RC number two. This is a number three. And from memory looking, I knew I had a booby number one. So there we go. A bit of a set there. One, two, three. That's always a bit of fun. Now we've got a French one. Um, it's got the quick adjust. So you can adjust it and then flick it for the finer adjustment. Uh, v Lux or something. I think that's a bicycle manufacturer. I've got two of those. I think one of those is going to my buddy um, in America. Um, Leslie, I've got this little French one. Um, little French double. I just liked it because it was small. And then the, the most exciting spanner of everything to me is this one. This is a Bell Rock number six. Now, I recently picked up a Miller's Bell Rock number no. 6, but this one seems to be different. This one's got a retaining screw, and this one doesn't. And it's got different markings as well. So this might be an earlier version of the Bell Rock, which is really exciting. This one's got a, a brass screw, and then this one, obviously, has got a steel one. Um, but... I'm not sure if this has been repaired or if it's if it's an actual, um, you know. Now the Bell Rock is a Miller's Brothers. I have a, this type of a Bell Rock, and I also have this slightly different design with the fatter thread Bell Rock as well. So there are three designs, and I will be showing you a new one, a completely new one soon in another tool haul. So keep your eyes out for that. Now, I have been doing some shop reorganisation. And when I say reorganisation, I've been screwing some spanners to my walls. So I'll show you what I've been up to with a few of uh, my spanners. Let's have a look at that. So here's my backhoe display. Everyone will have seen this many times. And normally I have more backhoe tools up here. But I decided to make it a Van Dooley's corner. So I'm double stacking, as you can see. Some of them are triple stacking, as I like to do for my displays. I need a number five to double stack that. And we've got the two wonderful ones from uh, Indonesia just there, number six. So we've got um, all, this, all sizes of the straight one, and we're missing a number zero to complete the Van Dials, um, you know, with the nut wrench one. I also, um, which is quite exciting, um, today I've been I've put up my Garrington's display which I got off my friend Roger and um, we've put the big coals up there I've given the Garrington display a clean and a wax because it was a bit mucky um, and I've put the spanners on it and then down here I've got more Garrington's we've got the Garrington's um, pipe wrenches the lat wings all four sizes and then we've got the four sizes of the puffin the uh, Clyburn type and then we got five sizes of the uh, Vernet Clyburn type. So I've been um, adjusting, I've been, uh, you know, screwed that up um, and I put my um, drill holder and oil thing up there. So yeah, and I put my Ingersoll Rand um, up there because it used to be at the top there, but I actually uh, put a big saw display and a Spear and Jackson saw display. So yeah, so, New Van Dooley's display and that, so I've been reorganising. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching if you got this far. Take care, have a great day. Bye.